Hi guys, day 11. So we're almost there. Today we're going to work, um, you know, we won't be doing any specific poses. It will be a nice rounded practice. We'll do a bit of everything. I hope it will be a little bit shorter. Um, and just enjoy it. Just simply enjoy it. Good. So we're starting standing up today. So come to the front of your mat. Have a look at your feet. Bring them hip distance apart, bring them parallel. Open your lips slightly to the sides. Go and release your shoulders down. Bring your shoulders over your pelvis. Feel that you're nice and open across the chest, that your area around the shoulders are nice and spacious, that your head is above your shoulders. You're not leaning forward. If you do, then press the back of your head gently back and lengthen to the crown. Release your arms down, close your eyes. And just feel your body, feel your breath. Just breathe naturally. Breathe you the way you always do, the way you do at the moment. And simply absorb it. Simply be with it. Allow it to go freely. And you just follow your breath. On the next inhale, open your eyes, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down, one more time, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down, and one more time, inhale, bring your arms overhead, keep your shoulders down though, exhale, bend your knees, so you're releasing your arms, you're bending your knees and you're releasing your torso down. Maybe you're using your blocks, then place your blocks underneath your shoulders. Let me step a little bit back. So hands on the blocks and torso down. Release your chest, you release your neck and head. Keep your knees bent, shift your pelvis forward and keep the connection of your belly and your thighs. On the next inhale, bend your knees more, bring your torso parallel to the floor, open your arms, arms to the side, and as you inhale, you come all the way up to standing. Oops, arms overhead. And exhale, hands in front of your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale again, open arms to the sides, bend your knees, and then slowly start releasing your torso down. Hands on the blocks, blocks underneath your shoulders, then belly on the thighs, shift your pelvis forward, release your torso down. Inhale, come halfway up, bend your knees more, torso parallel to the floor, open your arms to the sides, and then strong arms, strong legs, bring your torso all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale again, arms to the sides, bend your knees, release your torso parallel, hands on the blocks, and then slowly keep going down. Release your torso. Maybe now move the blocks. Grab your opposite elbows. Really, uh, wiggle your head in between. Sorry. And start wiggling from side to side. Very important that your pelvis shift it forward and send your sitting bones up towards the sky. Keep your knees as bent as you need to. And then again, inhale, come halfway up, bend your knees more, bring your torso parallel to the floor, arms to the sides. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands in front of your chest, release your arms down. Feel your body here. Good, and gently open your eyes. If you're not to the front of your mat, step to the front. And right from here, I want you to be to make a big step back with your left foot. Step back. You would have to bend your right knee and then slowly release your left knee down. Back it up right away. You can release your hands down for a moment. Again, if that knee is sensitive, place a yoga blanket underneath. Or maybe, you know, you can double up your mat and that will be enough. Keep your right knee above the ankle. Press with your right heel down. Stay here, hands onto the front right knee. 
close your lower ribs. When I say close, this is flaring out, this is closing them in. So you feel the deep engaging, um, the engaging of the deep core muscles there. Good, keep your left toes tucked under. Now release your hands down. Keep your right sitting bone under. Inhale, you would be leaning forward, bringing your arms through the center and up. And as you exhale, you will be opening your arms through the sides, almost to the back and then down. And we keep working like this. Inhale, torso leaning forward, arms through the front and up. Exhale, you can even look up and open your arms to the sides, release your arms down, inhale up, exhale, open, feel the openness through your chest, two more, inhale through the front and exhale, open your chest, last one, inhale forwards and then exhale through the sides and back then place your hands to the floor lift your left knee step your right foot back downward facing dog keep your knees bent start sending your hips up and back press with your hands down and forward and roll your inner biceps up and away from each other you can start paddling your feet in your down dog without changing the position of your upper body. Good. Couple more. Try to do it slowly. Try to experience the stretch of each hamstring separately. Good. Then bend your knees. You can start releasing your heels down towards the floor or keep them up. On the next inhale, I want you to ripple forward by rounding your spine. Come towards your plank. Exhale, bend your knees and almost through the extension of the spine. Send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. And again, inhale, ripple towards your plank. Shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, if, uh, bend your knees, expansion, extension of the spine and hips up and back. Inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, bend your knees and send your hips up and back. And one more inhale towards your plank. And then exhale, bend your knees. And then on the next inhale, ripple forward towards your plank. Exhale, knees to the floor, to the floor, and then slowly. Chest and chin to the floor, untuck your toes, inhale, glide into the cobra of your chest, baby cobra. Press your hands away, so press the floor away with your hands and lift maybe a little bit higher up. And then exhale, release your torso down. So you're laying down on the floor. Good. So make sure that you have enough space to the front. If you have the blocks close by, move them to the side. Release your forehead down and bring your arms to the front. On the next inhale, press the area underneath your belly button down, your pubic bone down, lift your head, lift your arms, lift your legs. As you exhale, I want you to open the arms to the side and lift a little bit higher. If it's too much, you can release your legs and keep them on the floor. Otherwise, keep them and try not to open them too much. Keep them together. Inhale to the front. Exhale, open up to the sides. One more time. Inhale to the front. As you exhale, open your arms to the sides and open your legs. So it's like a star pose. And we'll do it three more times. Inhale to the front. Legs and arms together. Exhale to the sides and legs open, star position. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, open as much as you can, press your belly button down. And then hands to the sides of the chest, legs together, release them down. And then tuck your toes under. Lift up 
and send the hips up and back downward facing dog. Keep breathing, you can bend your knees, working through your upper body, or you can start straightening your knees and working through your uh, final version of downward facing dog. On the next inhale, from your left inner thigh, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee towards the chest, round up your spine, feel the activation of the core, and then step your left foot forward. Release your right knee down. Toe heel your left foot towards your left. Inhale, come up. Again, for the right knee, if you need the paddling up, use uh, doubling up of the mat or yoga blanket. Both hands onto the front left knee. Press your left heel down. Scoop your left sitting bone under. Inhale, arms forward and up. So what we're going to do as you inhale, again, you're leaning forward. You, you know, that will be the action, right? Arms up and then exhale. You're opening to the side, through the sides and down. Inhale to the front and up, and the next so through the sides and down. Three more. Inhale to the front, and the next so through the sides and up. And one more. Inhale to the front, and the next so through the sides and down. Hands to the floor. Lift your right knee up and step your right foot forward. Open your feet wider than your hips, a bit wider. Uh, again, if you need those blocks, go ahead and grab those blocks. Place them underneath your shoulders. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Maybe you want to lower those blocks. So we're going to do a twist from there. Again, you can keep your knees bent if it uh, it will be easier for you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, maybe use your right hand, place your block, um, slide it forward. Inhale here. Exhale, you twist towards your right. So you look underneath your right armpit. With your left hand, you grab to the outside of your right shin. And again, you can keep your left knee bent, but see if you can start working towards straightening your right knee. That will... Uh, bring you into a deeper twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Don't forget to breathe. On the next inhale, come back to the center. Now you place your left block slightly to the front. Inhale here, exhale, you twist towards your left. You grab the left outer shin with your hand. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And again, you can keep your right knee bent, but start working towards uh, straightening your left knee. Keep your pelvis over your heels. And then slowly come up. Well done. Then from there, I want you to cross your ankles and sit and extend your legs to the front. So we're going to do one more pose, seated pose, and then a simple twist before we come into Shavasana. And I really enjoy this way of doing Pachamatanasana, so I keep my knees bent right away. I'm sitting right onto my sit bones, shoulders over my pelvis, ribs in. Then I just hinge from the hip joint and trying to bring, here he is, I'm um, trying to bring the belly over the thighs. Then with the index middle and thumb, I hook onto my big toes. From there, inhale, lengthen, shoulders away. What you're going to do, you, you're trying to maintain this uh, connection of the belly and the thighs, and you just walk your heels away. Sometimes if you place a yoga blanket on the floor, you know, and if your floor is uh, a little bit slippery, you know, like a wooden one, you can place your heels on the floor and just glide away because, you know, on the mat it's not always possible. And you're just there. And you just keep your knees bent. But you know that your lower back is protected. And this is far more important than, you know, keeping your legs straight. If you're here, this is not Pachumatanasana. This is the extension of the backside of the body. 
So we need to come into the pose with the right position of your torso. Staying a little bit longer. And then inhale, come up. You know, and it's up to you. You want to force yourself into the pose. You can do it gentlier. So you feel, you know, the way you want to do it today. So bend your knees more and then come back uh, down, laying down onto your mat. Good. Then uh, bring your right, left knee enters the chest, right knee enters the chest. Open your arms to the sides. Then see if you can place your right knee over your left and see if you can cross your ankles as well. Maybe you're just here without crossing the ankles. Maybe you're able to do that. From there, I want you to bring your knees over. Sorry, I would have to move this thing. Over towards your left. And look over your right shoulder. I have this microphone there. I would have to release it onto the floor for a moment. Good. Then knees over towards your left right knee on top and then you look over your uh, over your right shoulder very important that you keep your right shoulder away from the ear and relaxed and on the floor so you're not lifting you're keeping it down maybe your knees in the air and this is fine but the right shoulder has to stay on the floor mm -hmm. just relax Inhale, bring your knees back up. Undo your uh, twist of the legs and then left knee on top of the right and cross your ankles if it feels right. From there, your knees go towards your right. You can even place your right hand on top of the knee and you look over your left shoulder, keeping your left shoulder on the floor. So it's a kind of Garudasana or cow face version of a twist. Then right hand back onto the floor, bring your knees back up. Undo your legs, knees and towards the chest if you need to, and then slow release your legs onto the floor. Place your feet slightly away from each other, arms slightly away from the body. Wiggle your shoulders and move them away from the ears. And just relax. Shavasana. And stay in Shavasana. For as long as you feel, as you, if you have a little bit of time, you can always um, stay in longer in Shavasana and it feels so rewarding, it feels so good. So if you have that extra time, please pause the video and stay longer. If you don't and you know with this busy way of life, you're normally rushing somewhere all the time, <clears throat> so just follow me. And when you're ready, <coughs> excuse me, start wiggling your toes and your fingers, ankles and wrists, arms overhead. And then bend your knees, roll onto the right side of the body. Pause there for a moment. And when you're ready, press with your left hand and come up. And just for the sake of changing, let's sit on the heels now. Shoulders over your pelvis, lengthen um, to the sky, to the crown of your head, pressing the back of your head gently back so you know that your head is in line with the rest. So your cervical spine is in, right, in line with the rest of your body, with the rest of your spine. And then again, hands in front of your chest, bring your chin in towards the chest. Then thumbs onto your third eye, bow a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, come up. Namaste. 
good well done three more days to go hope you feel better you feel energized you feel ready for your day and hope to see you all tomorrow namaste Thank you.